Reviews for the third season of Titans are rolling in. Holy smoke! The Beth Geek News. Cut! It's your pickle hat. All right. Hello, hello, early reviews for the third season of Titans are going live, and a lot of the consensus that I've seen so far is that this is the best season of Titans yet. Is that what you were gonna say? Titans doesn't land on HBO Max until August 12th, so the fact that the review embargo is even up more than a day before the show goes live is always a good sign. Even comicbook.com's own review by Mighty Morphin Matt Aguilar gave the third season four out of five stars and said it's an emotional roller coaster ride worth taking. I'm in a glass case of emotion! Frankly, I don't even care about the reviews on this one. If you think I'm missing the live action debut of Red Hood, you're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. Preview night screenings for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad raked in $4.1 million last night, marking the biggest opening for an R-rated movie to be released since the start of the pandemic. That keeps the movie on track for about a 70 million worldwide opening weekend, numbers that had been projected earlier this week. No spoilers, but let me know in the comments what you thought of The Suicide Squad. Tell me, tell me what happened, I wanna hear it all. Now that fans have been fully introduced to Peacemaker, more and more people are getting excited about his upcoming series. Of the spinoff, James Gunn said in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter that while you can expect the same no-holds-barred sort of violence as the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker will be a little quieter because there's more time to delve much deeper into the characters and much more deeply into the drama and comedy of them. Where do I sign up? Still no word on whether or not Peacemaker will have to eat a bag of d**ks for liberty. Let's hope not because the guy would do it. Today, Netflix dropped a teaser trailer for Stranger Things Season 4 and announced that the series will return in 2022. Apparently, they want to wait and hold off the fourth season until all the kids are full-grown adults. While the fourth season isn't expected to be the last season, in a recent interview, producer Sean Levy said that there is an end in sight and they aren't making this up as they go along. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing, but that's really what he said. I wouldn't lie to you. Friends don't lie. When asked what are the chances for Deadpool 3 to start filming next year, Ryan Reynolds responded and said that they are actively developing it and that the chances are pretty damn good. In fact, he said there's a 70% chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right, let's have some fun for Friday. The first 20 people on Instagram to comment, I'm in, and I will personally respond and cast you as a DC villain for the upcoming Suicide Squad sequel that no one's announced. Obviously, I've got Condiment King covered. Catch up, Mustard, who cares? Hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at TK Comedy. Like the video for support and then turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.